Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, we will explain a bit about the function generator and oscilloscope used inside the Tinkercad. Although these both are very much simple in Tinkercad, both the oscilloscope and function generator. So first we need to write function and here you can see your function generator. Click on it and drag it out. Okay. Now we can see that there are three knobs and three push buttons. The first knob is either yeah, it's its frequency and the second knob is representing the amplitude and the third knob is the fine tuner for the amplitude like if you want to increase or decrease the amplitude with a little amount uh, you can use it uh, and obviously there is an on and off button and two connectors for input for output sorry so uh, also we need to take the oscilloscope so okay wait here. we will write here oscilloscope okay here it is so this is our oscilloscope it is uh, not looking like a uh, a, a, a reality based oscilloscope or the hardware based oscilloscope but it will tell us about the uh, voltage graph and the current graph or their peak to peak voltages are like these things so first uh, we will start and we will plot our first signal before going that we need to connect the negative end of the function generator with the negative end of the oscilloscope okay also with the, the positive end with the positive of the oscilloscope Okay, now we have completed the connections. Now we will uh, start our simulation. Okay, here uh, we must. Okay, now now okay now we will change our uh, frequency by rotating the knob of the frequency. And here you can see that. We have a frequency at this time at 4.9 Hertz or 4.89 Hertz. Okay, so you can see that so 4.89 cycles are coming in one second. On x-axis of oscilloscope, you can see that the whole oscilloscope x-axis is now equal to one second. Now we will increase the frequency a little bit, and now you can see that our cycles are increasing then we will okay again we will increase and now uh, it is nearly invisible for us and if we increase it um, more so it is totally undistinguishable so okay wait uh, I will okay okay now okay now now we are going to reduce the frequency more via this method okay now just wait until it will update its uh, value on the oscilloscope okay we need to wait and uh, okay or we can again start the simulation Still it is not updating again uh, stop and start it yeah now now it's updating
Okay, so again reduce the okay now now we have reduced frequency to one hertz and now you can see that now now it is uh, visible so okay now now we are uh, reducing the amplitude okay now we have reduced it to 2.4 edge and now you can see that it is it is decreasing although it is taking time in uh, updating now you can see that although the uh, graph peak to peak value increases but uh, the unit also change in the start it is 20 volt and now it is 10 volt here you can see that on y axis now i will uh, decrease it a bit and see that what will happen it's 1.31 volt okay okay now the whole y-axis is equal to 10 volt and 1.31 volt is one box so you can see that peak to peak is 1.31 volt okay so we, we can change it uh, we can change the fine fine part like uh, which comes after uh, decimal point like uh, this So, okay, wait until. Uh, or, or it is actually wait. It is it is it is not the fine tuning part. It is it is the uh, shifting part that is either it is going towards y axis or um, having its edge more uh, of the uh, what's called as uh, on. Like basically, you can say that it is it can move your uh, shift your graph on y axis. Like wait, uh, I will. I will move it a, a bit low the graph okay now you will see either it is updating or not so wait okay now now as soon as I uh, I'm going to increase it it is going above okay now now I'm going to uh, reduce it to minus two I, I I'm just moving it towards the minus five volt and now you can see that graph is shifting downward so it is actually the position shifter rather than and when it is at like uh, zero volt or, or just on the okay so okay now now see that okay however you can use it like that so you can also shift between the square wave to sine wave Okay, here now now you will see that it will it will become the sine wave okay now you can see it now if we want some triangular type of wave on the oscilloscope now it is triangular so hopefully you got the concept and although these are very simple like uh, they are not providing a lot of functions but still they will serve a bit of our purpose so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for watching.